Welcome to the Paul Chandler Show, everyone. I'm your host, Paul Chandler. In tonight's episode, we're going to be visiting the HickPix book again, and we'll be looking at G-codes. Because in the United States, Medicare, they like to do their own sets of codes, and when they do those, it's not in the CPT book, it's going to be in the HickPix book under their special classification for G-codes. So tonight's episode, if you have your HickPix book, that'd be handy, and we'll be looking at HickPix codes, the G-code set. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Welcome back everyone. So tonight we'll be looking at coding G codes in HickPix. And a good rule of thumb is just to remember that G equals Medicare. So in the US we have Medicare part A, B, C, and D. And with the G codes, so what Medicare will do is they'll take certain codes in HickPix book, kind of tweak it a little bit to have them resemble the CPT codes. So one thing you have to remember that with the G codes, as far as those equal Medicare, that does include if it's traditional Medicare or also if it's a Medicare HMO or Advantage plans. So those Medicare options have to follow the traditional Medicare as well. And where I say G equals Medicare, looking at, for example, you know what, I think uh, way back in the day, I know 2020 has been a really long year and trust me, ladies and gentlemen, we will survive 2020. We'll have 2021 at some point. But back on June 8th, 2020, when the Paul Chandler Show premiered, our first episode was on colonoscopies. Because that's one thing, if you've ever talked in a coding class with us, I like drawing the colon, and they're dealing with colonoscopies. That's where a patient gets a uh, scope goes up the bum and around the colon. Well, Medicare also has a lot of G-codes dealing with colonoscopies. So for example, we have G0104. I'm looking at the description of G0104, colorectal cancer screening flexible sigmoidoscopy. So looking at that phrase, G0104, colorectal cancer screening flexible sigmoidoscopy, and then if we compare it to the CPT book at code 45330, sigmoidoscopy flexible diagnostic including collection of specimens by brushing and washing when performed. So breaking that down, so sigmoidoscopy, scope goes up the bum. Remember the scopes go counterclockwise as appears to how the digestive system tract goes. So the scope goes up the rectum and hangs a right and goes down the sigmoid colon across it. And before it hangs a left, and goes up the descending colon. So both of these codes deal with sigmoidoscopies. But notice as far as the verbiage. So G0104, colorectal cancer screening, 45330, diagnostic colonoscopy, but on the sigmoid colon. So then we call that a sigmoidoscopy. So again, G0104, we have the colorectal cancer screening, flexible sigmoidoscopy, 45330, diagnostic sigmoidoscopy. So it just the verbiage is a little bit different. In the G code for Medicare, G0104 uses the term screening, but 45330 uses the term diagnostic. Screening, diagnostic, that's a pop and soda scenario. No matter if it's a Mountain Dew Kickstart, pineapple, orange, mango, that's my personal favorite. I call that a pop. No matter if you call it a pop, which is the right way, I think, or you call it a soda, that's okay. I'll forgive you. It's still the exact same thing. A nice refreshing can of Mountain Dew Kickstart pineapple, orange, mango, or whatever flavor of Mountain Dew that is, you have, is your preference. Same exact same. So G0104 uses the term screening, 45330 uses the term diagnostic. Some difference we have though is G0104 is for colorectal cancer screening. Well, if a patient's getting a diagnostic scope, then that's one thing that they're checking out there for colorectal cancer. So if you have a Medicare patient and they're getting a diagnostic sigmoidoscopy, then we would not use the code 45330. We'd use the code G0104 in HitPix. And there are several different other options for colonoscopies as well. 
So for example, the other options that we have are G0105, colorectal cancer screening, colonoscopy on individual at high risk. So at that point though, the colonoscopy scope is going all the way around, but then we have the parent code 45378, a diagnostic colonoscopy. Same principle where we have the screening for the G code for Medicare or the word diagnostic in the CPT code 45378. So simply put, now there are more codes that we have in the G section than just colonoscopies, but you know, that's one of my hobbies to talk about. Strange I know, but it's really cool if you get to draw it on the board. Again, reference back to the pilot episode of the show, but with the G codes for Medicare, doesn't matter what we're doing, where we're doing it at. If it's a Medicare patient, you choose the G code. If it has a corresponding CPT code, the words may be a little bit different, like a pop and soda scenario, but if it's the exact same thing, non-Medicare patients, you choose the CPT code. And in closing too, remember that there's four different ways how a patient, or a person I should say, because they're gonna become a patient, four different ways how a person can be approved for Medicare. Either they, are, they age into it, 65 or older, they're legally blind, they're legally disabled, or they have ESRD, end-stage renal disease, or a combination of any of the four. So to simply put, if you have two identical codes that they may not say the exact same words, but they mean the exact same thing, if it's a Medicare patient, you choose the G code, no matter where it is in the G section, or if it's a non-Medicare patient, you choose the corresponding CPT code, no matter where it is in the CPT book. And speaking of those different types of classifications, remember, for example, the G codes, and now we did the G0104 and G0105, dealing with the colonoscopies, that the Specialty Coder Institute, one of our third organizations, launched beginning of this month. And there, with our credentials, it's taken the higher level quality than other credential organizations for specialties. Our exams are all fill in the blank, passing a 90%, 9-0, while other organizations are simply just multiple choice, passing is at 70%. Simply put, if you know how to work a Scantron, you can pass the credential, but not have the proof of the, that you know the knowledge that you'll need to be able to code in the healthcare setting. So if you're looking to either start your career in medical coding or further your career and additional coding credentials, visit the Specialty Coder Institute at specialtycoder.com. I do thank you for watching this episode of The Paul Chandler Show and have an awesome rest of your night.